Hey everyone, and welcome back to Bone Lab. Here we are in Tunnel Tipper today. I don't think we've had a video located here at all. I'm also going to turn the settings down a bit because my game is having a bad time. I'm thinking of investing in a new PC so the video quality will be higher for you guys because I know that is a big concern. So today we are going to be experimenting with the mechanical parts mod, I think, which comes with what I'm most interested in, these bearings. And here they are. Put some of those down. Very fast spinning, and it makes me so sad that there isn't something like this in vanilla because just just having a pivot like this, a rotating object, is amazing because you could put anything on this, and it'll go. So I'm sure we're all aware by now about my amazing. Okay, about my amazing nobody soup. There it is. This stuff, you know, is quite popular amongst um, my subscribers because of just how good it is. But currently, we only have one model of Blender which is able to really, oh, which is able to really um, make it. So today, we are coming up with a more portable design, which can get kind of messy, but you know, you get the kind of idea. And this design focuses heavily around this which last time we used the handheld propeller mod to make a rotating thing, but now I've discovered this absolute masterpiece of a mod which is designed to do what I was doing there. So this is perfect. And we want to attach it to the end of a spear like so. Well, that's weird, you can actually kind of rotate it. It's a feature, not a bug, trust me. And if we stop that from rotating, we want to grab ourselves the tether. Oh my god. Why is that doing that? And we attach knives all sides of it, like so. And then we proceed to unleash. And here we have what I like to call the Weed Whacker. Who wants a taste of the Weed Whacker? Let's get this, boy! Our first victims. Yeah! It is quite heavy at some times and hard to control, but when it gets in there, it sure does do the job. Just look at that. Holy shit, there's so many of them coming down from here. Of course, because it's a long spear, you can steady your hands further along it to increase stability or decrease stability, so it kind of does its own thing. Yeah! And let's just say it does its job amazingly well. Look at that. You want some nobody soup? Come get it. You want to be part of the nobody soup? Come get it. All you need to do is run up to a wave of enemies with this thing and just watch them get absolutely churned up. Even the fire mage skeleton, skeleton can't do much. See that? You can even use this to block projectiles and then just shank them up from a distance. You don't even need to get close. And like most of my amazing designs, this can come in any shape or form you want. You don't need to put kitchen knives on the ends. You can put frying pans if you really want. And in fact, we're going to test that just in a second. We're going to try some different models of this thing. But they will all be for sale very soon, making your Nobody Soup adventures even easier. But of course, nobody's Nobody Soup tastes as good as mine. So make sure to go and order your Nobody Soup today. And to get a discount on your next batch of Nobody Soup, make sure to use code WIGWAM. There you go, it even has an automatic mode where if you really want to, you can just kind of throw it down and let it do, it, let it do its thing. You know, you're not going to want to step in that, but luckily these guys' AIs are kind of stupid, so they're just like, oh yeah, I'm going to love to step in that. But yeah, I'm thinking of upgrading my PC because I play this game constantly. And honestly, I want to get an upgraded PC just so I can run this game specifically better. I honestly don't care about any other like game. Obviously, I'm going to be able to play other games better, which is going to be great, and even play bigger games. But like, um, yeah, 
I'm due an upgrade. I could upgrade certain parts of my PC, but uh, we found out that my PC just sucks in general, so... <laughs> We're just going to go for a straight up upgrade and sell the old one. don't know how much the old one will sell for. A decent amount, I think, hopefully. But yeah. Give it a few months and we might be seeing higher quality videos because... I basically can't really run this game consistently at medium settings, so... Oi! Oi, chill out! Haha! <laughs> Say goodbye to your head. Why don't we crank it up a notch and go even faster? Oh! Oh, that's got to work. What would I do about the constrainer, like, genuinely? I would actually be lost without the constrainer. It is the best thing to come to this game. Get out, bitch. <laughs> and here we have our second model. This, this one is uh, better at doing certain things than the other one, believe it or not. And here it is. I like to call this one the Paddler. Gonna need someone big to wield this one. Look at that go. You do not want to get slapped by that. So poor, my friend. I've got you. That's brutal. He's got his arm, like, broken by it. Right, this guy is really pissing me off. You're getting it, boy. I've spun his jaw him so hard. Ain't surviving this one now, are you, bitch? Step into the blade. And now I've just dropped my amazing pot and pan thing. Where is it? Tell me, where is it? Yeah, I see it. It's inside the floor. <laughs> no surprise. Oh god. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Yes, I got it! I think. Yes. Oh no. Oh, hold on, hold on. Ah, we're going to the bottom. Okay. This game looks so damn awesome. Apollo! He looks kind of freaky. <laughs> All the boxes like, got broken somehow. That's right. My products are sentient. Oh, oh, oh! I don't mean sentient against me, holy shit. What a fucking shot, I'm sorry. There we go, we have a bit of self-defense. This is a new model of the ankle tapper. You might have seen it back in um, the Nobody Soup video, the original one. Not the cooking one, the um, blender video, that's it. I forgot I made a cooking video, I'll be honest. If you want to, you can even adapt it into using it as a blender. But, you know. For now, we're just using that as a defense as we make our next model. Right, I didn't actually mean to use elastic here, but I'm really... I'm really curious of how it's going to work. This thing, for the most part, one hits your enemies. Because they get smacked so hard by a damn hammer. They either get stabbed in the back of the head by it, or slapped in the back of the head by it. Either way, it's going to damn hurt. That's alright, because did I tell you this thing can turn into a damn clock? That's right. Just look at that. Ticking clock. Anybody who decides to tell the time will uh, feel the wrath. Never mind. Apparently this thing specializes in avoiding enemies. Alright, we've got one of it left. This is all our budget can afford for this video. Um, I need to... Please don't go off the edge. See, look, even the ankle tapper helped out with that one. It's looking a bit uh, worn down now. But I have a good idea and also a bad idea for our final mechanism that we're going to make. Just got to hope the ankle tapper holds in and I'm sure it's going to because holy shit. <laughs> oh, okay, it works. We know that much. Okay, we have our final model. So let's um, test this thing. This thing looks like a fucking amusement park attraction. Like, holy shit. You can even uppercut. Oh, wasn't lying when I said that one. Honestly, seeing this thing in slow-mo is really satisfying. And especially seeing it work is even better. Although we haven't really got a name for this one, so I want you guys to give me a name for this one in the comments. 
Um, oh, because yeah, I'm not too sure myself. But let's just say this thing packs a punch, or should I say this thing packs a power punch? It really does just make. Oh, <gasps> why don't you come have a step into the um, that? Yeah, insta death. That's what I thought. All right, how does this look? Now you get to see the perspective of the ultimate weed whacker. The weed whacker models of um, many of our products and even some new, like this one you're seeing right here. This is a completely new product and our testing today has been extremely successful. I mean, just look at this. This thing packs a power punch. That's all I'm saying. Oh. talk about fucking awesome and i think this is where we're probably going to end it i hope you guys enjoyed this is an absolute amazing custom weapon and i actually really damn enjoy this like i'm gonna cut so much footage out of this video because most of it is me just going around just killing enemies for ages of it it's honestly really fun and mod links will be in the description i'd love to see you guys um do some of this yourself or just for you to check it out yourself because making stuff like this is really fun and I feel like that's kind of the um, whole purpose of Bone Lab. And I feel like a lot of people overlook that. So yeah, go and have some fun. Go and experiment in Bone Lab with the Constrainer tool and many cool other stuff like power punches. Because this is just the essence of fun. I could do this for hours. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much for allowing me to get monetized. I forgot to mention that in this video. Um, we are officially monetized, which is crazy. I have another YouTube channel where I've been working on getting monetized for like three years now. And we did it within a month on this channel, so I can't thank you enough for that. Make sure to uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.